We could get him a police escort. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. We have an attorney running just slightly late, but we're going to start. I'd like to call this meeting to order. If you'd all please rise. Councilwoman Carr, if you could lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Councilwoman Karumba? Here. Councilwoman Carr? Here. Mayor Simmons? Here. Councilman Gibson? Here. Councilman Forbes? Here. All right, well, good morning, everybody. We're here to adopt a resolution or and to discuss a resolution declaring a local state of emergency for coronavirus in Benita Springs. Arlene, would you like to get us kicked off? With an update as well. And this sure. morning, just for, uh, for Council's information, Lee County will be considering uh, also adopting a state of emergency for all of the county as well. Um, city staff continues uh, meeting with the Emergency Operations Center and Lee County staff regularly to align efforts across jurisdictions and the Emergency Operations Center is currently activated and we do have staff monitoring that. This is a fluid situation and updates are occurring frequently. Uh, Benita Springs is working closely with the Benita Springs Fire Control and Rescue District and the Lee County Sheriff's Office Agency to ensure public safety is always maintained. Health and safety information has been posted and hand sanitizer is now available at all city buildings and workspaces. City staff are de de disinfecting shared common surfaces. Employee work related travel has been limited only to essential travel. Uh, sick employees, voluntary board members and citizens are please asked to remain at home and not attend any public meetings and conduct city business. When possible, staff has been asked to conduct meetings via phone or other technologies where it makes sense to reduce in-person meetings. COVID-19 resources information is posted on the city's website at www.cityofbenitasprings.org. Uh, our upcoming March 18th city council meeting has been canceled and not all non-essential city meetings are being postponed. Any meetings that are scheduled will be streamlined and the public is encouraged to watch from home the public will have an ability to send public comments for the record. Public comments can be emailed to citymeetings at citymediasprings.org, mm -hmm. as well as you can always reach out to our city clerk. Beginning Wednesday, March 18th, the Recreation Center and Community Pool will be closed. This is concurrent with the Lee County facilities that will be closing. Lee County will be closing all uh, senior facilities. Um, recreational programming classes have been canceled except for the child care program that is run by the YMCA till the end of the week. Um, neighborhood services facilities located at Lyles Hotel and Bonita Nature, Nature Place facility will be closed to the public. Um, the grounds will be open. City Hall will have limited access to the public. Drop boxes will be set up at every city facility to, for any documents that need to be dropped off during this time. The community is encouraged to email and call staff, which will be regularly available from 8 to 5 to answer questions. These closures will be scheduled in conjunction with Lee County until Monday, April 13th. At that point, we'll reassess with council unless otherwise changes have happened where uh, lifts or conditions change. We'll work quicker to open things up should any direction change as well. Um, again, for any direct correspondence regarding the meetings, city meetings at cityofmediasprings.org is an email that access. We will continue to review city processes, policies, and procedures to reflect all current recommendations and best practices. Updates will be provided, information available regularly. Um, additionally, there's a voluntary suspension of play by the, city's, the city of Benita Springs baseball and soccer leagues. They have voluntarily agreed to suspend play effective immediately. Um, and neighborhood services is suspending all rental inspections in owner occupied facilities. We will continue to monitor best safety practices for owner occupied homes for all in rent, for all inspections as well, permanent inspections. Additionally, um, um, we will look at all city outdoor facilities and if congregation begins to exceed 50 or more, we'll advise of potential further closures. Um, and then we'll con continue to update council and the public through our, all of our social media resources and website as, um, as, as, as this, any changes or updates become available. Um, we did receive an update from Lee County Health. Um, we wanted to make sure the public is aware that the mobile collection site to test for coronavirus is open and the test is up at the Lee Convenient Care facility near Pagefield. 
It is not open to anyone to show up. Patients must have an order from their physician or provider and make an appointment before showing up to the collection site. These requirements are necessary to maintain orderly collection process. Patients who are experiencing symptoms and don't have a test order should call their primary care physician. Lee Health will send the swab samples of the testing and the patient and the patient's provider will give the results when they are ready. Uh, this is not the mobile testing site opening up. Uh, this is not the only mobile testing site opening up in Southwest Florida. NCH will also be collecting samples. Uh, you don't need an appointment at NCH, but you need to have a doctor's order. Health officials will tell. I'm sorry. So at Lee and Pagefield, that one you do also need an appointment. Yes, correct, correct. Um, health officials tell us uh, not only is it convenient, but it's also safer to use these facilities. The Pagefield Lee Convenient Care is located at 4771 South Cleveland Avenue in Fort Myers, and it's open from noon to 4. Um, the site will initially have the capacity to collect 32 specimens per day. Lee Health plans to place uh, plan, has plans in place to expand the hours and open additional sites as the demand is needed. Uh, the mobile site for the collection um, of COVID-19 samples, the specimens will be sent to lab for testing, which takes three to four days to return. And that's the most recent information we have from Lee Health. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Derek or Carly? I have nothing additional for you except that uh, we have resolution for you uh, declaring a local state of emergency. Uh, your code does allow uh, the mayor, the deputy mayor, or any member of council if, in the event you can't get together uh, for a meeting to enact one of these, but we thought because of the information that, that Arlene was sharing with you that we'd have at least one meeting to declare the emergency. Extensions can be done by the mayor every seven days in order to keep that, that funding going forward. And uh, I would probably ask that you authorize Arlene to have any to take any additional steps that are that are requested or are prudent under the circumstances. And as additional advice, we've been advised by the state that in, in enacting the state of emergency, should potential funding become available from the federal government, that having the state of emergency ensures that that all loopholes are are so are closed. Council questions or comments. I think we need to define what we're gonna what the state of emergency for Benita Springs specifically means. So um, we know that the city um, recreation centers are closed, right? The senior centers are closed. The buildings are encouraged to call. We're doing everything we can to keep this clean and uh, sanitized. As our businesses around. So what impact is it on the businesses? So currently there's no direction to close any businesses. And we hope that they're considering their own best practices and keeping everything clean and sanitized and, mm -hmm. and looking at congregation of crowds as well. Right. And separation. And maybe for the immediate, is today is St. Patrick's Day. Um, for any local watering holes, what might that mean? Same. Following their, their use. 100 or less? Right. Or do we have a current number? We, we don't regulate the number of, so the occupancy rules that they would apply either through the um, fire and health safety codes or they would get direction if the, something comes down from, from the state. And circumstances, because outside, I mean, they're encouraging golf to go ahead. You know, I mean, do do distance, but we're outside. So, yep. I mean, I think it's a benefit, but... Um, that's the other thing that I think distance and the number of people are, you know, because you're not going to have just 50 people on the beach. You just keep your distance on the beach. But, you know, my thoughts. But No, because I have been asked by uh, three restaurant owners last night um, how this would affect St. Patrick's Day, so you're saying it won't affect it at all. Nothing the city is doing. Nothing the city Understood. is doing at this point. Yeah, okay. It's, it's and then I was asked about the beaches. Nothing. This isn't going to affect anything. We don't control Open space. Yeah. Just want to make painstakingly clear. So, well, in fact, we don't. There is no authority to, uh, from a police state point of view, to close down any of these things. Right? Even who would do that? Not. It, it not would be the state to be, would have to do it. The state it would, have, would have to do that. So that there has to be an order 
from the state that there should be a close down of all restaurants, um, but it wouldn't come from the city. Um, I think that we just all continue to practice common sense and do what you're comfortable with also. If you're not comfortable going out, don't. <laughs> just stay home. Could we do on our website um, a note where people could say, my regular um, caretaker is not well, so she's not coming in, I need groceries, and could I get assistance somewhere? So at least we can identify our fellow citizens that are either afraid or unable to get to the grocery store or to the pharmacy. So what we would recommend is they dial 211, which is operating now, that is United Way, that's right. through the Emergency Operations Center, and then they can get them to the appropriate resources. Right. In their so yeah. we'll also, we'll put the link, remind everyone of the link to the 211. You can also go on next door. Most all the people for, in general have a way to get to next door. You can post stuff like that on, on that, and a lot, of, a lot of people will see it. Somebody will answer it and give them an idea. Everything's on the table. Well, I don't know that. So that might be good or bad, depending on who's next door. <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty well used now, so it's, it's going to be extra used at this point. Great. Yeah. Great. But it, 211 is the official response. Right. We're not going to worry about Facebook right. or next door or LinkedIn or whatever. We're going to go with 211. OK. Uh, Council, Amy, anything else? No, I just have, I just want to. Um, recognize the many care agencies that we have operating in Bonita Springs because I know they're going to step forward during this troublesome time and I just appreciate the effort they've done in the past and I appreciate the effort that I know they're going to do in the future so I for one are, am getting out my checkbook and recognizing some of those care agencies that have supported the city in the past so uh, I want to thank them publicly for what they have done and what they are doing. And I recommend if anybody else wants to do that to start thinking along those directions because there's going to be a lot of need, I, be, I believe, for food and things like that from people who can't afford it. So that's what I'm thinking about. I also want to thank the staff who's almost been working nonstop, including the weekends and all hours. We get emails from you all. So thank you very much. Mike and then Fred. Um, yeah, just to echo uh, Amy and Laura, staff's doing a great job and to keep up the good work and to, you know, not forget about the uh, agencies that are taking care of everyone less fortunate and also the hit that they took recently with shutting down the uh, Blues Fest. So if you can donate, please donate. Fred? Yeah, I, I would like to encourage everybody to write your elected officials in Washington and ask them to please look at the little businesses for a rescue package because a lot of those little businesses that we all use uh, are getting are in a situation many of them will be at zero revenue for some period of time and they don't have a big reserve so that's trouble for the local economy and it, it's an additional problem that nobody needs to have but we got it so we need to see what we can do to help out can we make a motion to go ahead with this Unless there's any other questions or any information to review. I so move. Second. Okay, there's been a motion and a second um, to adopt a resolution declaring a local state of emergency for coronavirus in Benita Springs. There's been a motion and a second. Is there further discussion, Council? Roll call, please. Councilwoman Karumba. Aye. Councilwoman Carr. Aye. Mayor Simmons. Aye. Councilman Gibson. Aye. Councilman Forbes. Aye. Uh, now we're going to open this up to public comment. Members of the public that would like to speak, please come forward at this time. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, Council. Good morning, members of the community. My name is Terry LeMaine. For those of you that don't know me, I'm the Executive Director and President of the Benita Springs Assistance Office. I want to thank you all for giving me this time for public comment. Right now, my agency, as our City Manager Arlene Hunter stated, we have been in communication with 211, which is United Way's 211 Emergency 24-Hour Bilingual Call Center. We are updating them every other hour, letting them know what type of um, programs that we are offering. 
Our agency was open all day yesterday. I had only volunteers in there from our delightful community. We served over 18 families, some of those families being six or seven people in the household. We were able to provide them with incontinent products, baby diapers, formula, milk, cheese, onions, potatoes, from frozen chicken, cereal, granola bars, you name it. The Bonita Springs Assistance Office has activated our coronavirus emergency response plan. At this time, I will remain open to be a servant to our city and our community and follow what 211 and what you elected officials tell us to do. I want to personally thank Councilwoman Amy for bringing up agencies in our community. Our donate page is open on our Bonita Springs Assistance Office website. I do appreciate everyone's generosity. I wish you all the best. And again, our office will be open today. I highly encourage you do call. And I want to thank the Lee County Sheriff's Office, Captain Blake Lee. We are operating only outside the back door. No one is to enter our front door yesterday or going forward. We have a signage out where it is drive-through distribution. So we are taking all of our health and safety precautions as the CDC has requested us to do. And I will take any questions or any comments or any feedback. And I thank everyone in this building and everybody for their service. And I wish you all the best. Wonderful. Thank you. Council, any questions for Terry or comments? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for your service. We are safe. It's volunteers and myself. And um, I just want everybody to know that I personally and professionally prepared for this <clears throat> situation. Um, we do have toilet paper. I'm sorry to bring up that commodity, but we do have toilet paper. Um, nobody knows what the day will bring or the weeks will bring, but I do know that if we have any situation, that LCSO will be there to help us and assist us and be orderly. But um, we are keeping it to a minimum of what President Trump said yesterday. I only will have four volunteers and myself operating the facility, unless you deem differently or less the need arises. But we did have very, very nice residents in our community yesterday pick up diapers and milk and cheese and frozen chicken legs. And I, I had people offering to wash my car. So we have a very nice community. And all the people that came to our, our agency yesterday were very professional and polite and filled with gratitude. If I can also take another minute and thank Mr. Mike Councilman Mike Gibson. Yes, the Bonita Springs Assistance Office was one of the three charities that was to receive monies from last weekend's Bonita Blues Charitable Foundation Festival. So um, again, all donations to any charity that you know that's gonna make a difference in this great world. Thank you very much. But we've been around for 40 years and we will continue to be around and uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Terry. Be well. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Other members of the public that would like to speak? OK. Seeing none, um, motion to adjourn. Mayor? I yes, Amy. I just want to inquire of um, Arlene. What is, in the future, could we hold our meetings and have there be no audience? Is that a possibility? Um, we, we can look into that because part of the element of the sunshine is that they get to be there, be present and have the opportunity to comment. So we have been focusing on the online comments and things like that, but we are, I know there has been requests, the governor's office to come up with some rule to work around this issue, but unfortunately what his powers are and what the legislature's already decreed, that, that we're is, still in the process. That is that. a discussion that is happening. Because I, I know in our, um, community meetings we're, we're doing um, uh, call-ins you know that's what we're trying to work on um, so I think personally I think we're going to need to meet I don't know how we're going to meet you know if we ha and, and and still protect the people that are coming or just can, we can't even limit I guess the limit of a number of people that are in the room but I, I think we should follow up on that see if we can do that so we can function. Well, we can limit the number of people in the room no. and then broadcast in the lobby and then broadcast outside. Yeah, but as we'll long as you have a process for them to be able to participate, though. Right. right. Not just broadcasting. They have to. But you don't want people hanging around in the hall either. I mean, you're trying to separate people. So I, I think the ideal thing would is if we could limit the just video them and have some kind of input into that. 
it, it, I mean, it's, it's an issue. Today. All the cities and the counties right. are trying to get around it, but the legislature, the law basically says you have to, for local governing meetings, you have to I be understand. in person. So. Um, and I'm gonna, if, if I can take this um, opportunity, seeing how we're still in the public comment phase, to put um, Chief Greg DeWitt on the spot. And Greg, if, we're gonna do a press conference after this, but if you could please come up and share a quick update, that would be, or a long update. Well, no. Uh, it would be update. wonderful. Thank you, Chief, for being here. As the city here. manager said, uh, we've been conducting meetings all weekend from Friday at 3.30, then they had one on Saturday at 3.30. Yesterday, we were there at nine o'clock. Uh, getting our resources in line, getting everything going. Uh, we've canceled all of our stuff at our fire department um, and limited it to that. Right now we're in discussion with staff to are we gonna do stuff from home? How are we gonna operate? I will tell you this, that the uh, men and women on the streets are gonna be there 24 seven. I mean, we're not closing down the shop, we're there. We're supporting uh, our partners at the Sheriff's Office, Lee County EMS, and at the Department of Health. So we're in constant contact with them. We have at least two calls a day, conference calls on it. Uh, on the good news right now, as of this morning, when I last checked, it was still only four cases in, in Lee County. So we're holding strong with this new uh, testing procedure. And Chief, are, aren't they all travel related? I believe so, they are travel related. Then there are six in Collier County also. So let's say in our immediate area right now, well, there's 10. Five for sure were travel and they're checking the last they're, one. They're checking that. Yeah, so. That's so a it's, a, it's a good thing. Hopefully uh, what the city's doing, what we're doing at the fire department, what, we're, what you've done as a city, and what the government has done with limiting the congregation of, of people, hopefully that helps this, the spread of this disease, uh, this pandemic. But we are, uh, right now we're business as usual with emergency calls. Um, we're, we're not curtailing anything. Only thing we're doing is administratively on our side but we have all the equipment we need right now we did put in a request through the state uh, yesterday for an extra n95 mask but you know we've got enough to last us at least a couple months okay <laughs> so any other questions or comments and we'll keep uh, city manager and assistant city manager and you guys informed as, as much as we can thank you chief you're Just very keep welcome up the great work thank you thank you Fred yeah, a question for Arlene to cover the uh, the concern about big gathering in here can we investigate i'm just going to give you the name uh first presbyterian church they got huge facility they got tvs and everything where they could watch the broadcast and all we'd have to do is rig up a way where somebody can make public comment from there to here that would that would take at least the pressure off unless the governor gives us disp dispensation not to allow the public to come in Maybe we think. could hold it there. We might have closed that. There probably is other places that you could do the same thing. Well, whether they're in you right. know, everyone gathered. Let's wait and see. <laughs> so currently, the, rec the, the recommendations from the president is for 15 days. The new, mm -hmm. There were new recommendations of the 10 right. people. So I think, this, like we said, this is very fluid. We probably need to monitor. We might be in a different situation in, in two weeks from now. So. Right. Right. Thank you. So, great. <clears throat> if I could ask... Um, Chief Boglioli from the Lee County Sheriff's Office to please come up and give us an update from the Lee County Sheriff. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're continuing to uh, coordinate with the EOC and also work with the City of Bonita Springs. Lee County Sheriff's Office is all, also working with the, our counterparts with the Fire Department to monitor the situation. Great. Thank you. I appreciate well, it very much. Any yes, questions? Sir. Anybody? Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, anything else? Arlene. I also wanted to recognize we do have a local church that meets at our park, and they also reached out to the mayor and voluntarily agreed not to meet at, in pub, at the park any longer. For Correct. Until we get closer to a resolution here. <clears throat> okay, but we've closed our city parks, right? The outdoor facilities are, are open. Okay, are great. Open. But we will be monitoring to, if any park starts gathering more then 50 people will be monitoring that situation. Uh -huh. And no curfew? Correct, there's no, okay. there's no curfew. There aren't out there, people are gonna ask these questions. Any other, I hate to say quick answers, but I mean, you know, I know we've got these big long statements and all of that, but anything else for the good of the order that we, maybe we haven't asked? I call it the speed round. Any, any speed round tidbits? What, what about sanitizing playgrounds? 
we've been cleaning extra cleaning of the bathrooms but we can look at wiping down the the actual equipment as well I, I, I do want to say that um, the emails you've been sending us that I, I believe are coming from Lee County or maybe they're very helpful and uh, you know I don't know about anybody else but you get millions of emails with this information and that information and I think we should reinforce with the public that we should get our information directly from the professionals be that the medical people that are working with the CDC and the US Public Health Service that all these things that half of the things we're getting is apocryphal so uh, we should remind people that we have uh, sources that we're using that we can rely on and uh, and I think in the long run we'll be happier and I think it'll it'll uh, dissipate some of the fear that we're all feeling right now Laura's doing a great job updating us regularly mm -hmm. with the official information and we put it on our website mm -hmm. so the city of Bonita Springs dot org mm -hmm. updated regularly again staff is doing a fabulous job speed round down at this end of the bench any speed round questions or things you know I know but I know I'm not not even a slow round not even a slow round okay well staff thank you um, everybody thank you for your hard work we um, we got through Hurricane Irma as a city we will get through coronavirus as a city uh, we we the resolve of this individuals and the citizens of Bonita Springs is amazing we know that Terry you see it every day I see it every day and so so do so many of us so uh, from the bottom of my heart I guess I would say I'm sorry however this is uh, circumstances beyond our control um, I look forward to our summer discussions uh, in the budget process um, for anything that um, we can do to help those that, that were harmed. Uh, we believe in the Bonita Blues Festival. They believe in us. Unfortunately, it was a circumstance beyond our control, to say the very least. And we will get through it, and we will be there to support each other. And Chief DeWitt, thank you. Lee County Sheriff's Office, thank you. Uh, Terry, thanks for being here. And um, with that, I'll take a motion to adjourn. And we are going to do a press conference here um, at the uh, end of this meeting to get out some more information to the public. So, so motion to adjourn? So we are adjourned. God bless everybody. Be safe.